All right, guys, it's finally time to get this speaker pod build started. Got everything I need, hopefully. Went out and bought a new new glue gun and glue sticks. I don't ever really see when I'll need 24 of these. These will probably last me my entire life. Never really use hot glue that much. Got the fleece to wrap the, the skeleton, I guess you would call it, of the speaker pod. I've got way too much of this stuff, too, but whenever I use it on the next project or something. And I hope I didn't buy too thick of of fleece. I've never fiberglass before, so I was kind of just guessing on how thick. And since I'm not going to use a lot of fiberglass, I just went out and bought this little, this little Bondo kit, a fiberglass repair kit, and it comes with a tank of resin and the mat. And it's really thick mat. I'm not sure what the weight or the ounce is on it exactly, but it's really thick. The little tube of hardener. And then I got my solo cups and the paintbrush and the mixer for uh, that's where I'll do the batches and all that because I'll only need a little bit at a time. And then some Bondo body filler to make it all nice and smooth. So I guess we'll start out. I got plenty of wood, but I think I've only got like three quarter MDF, which might be a little bit thick for this project, but use what you got. So we'll start out with cutting rings that will go for the speakers to screw into. And since I don't have a a circle jig for the router, we'll use the handy dandy like a 1970's Craftsman Saber Saw. Pretty sure that that bits from the 1970's too is getting really dull. So let's hop into it guys. And so you got an idea of what I'm going for. I'm going to take these little three and a half and build the pods so that'll be my dash the top piece isn't in right now so that's why it looks so uh, so funky but to build pods that'll uh, will go something like this and point uh, right at the driver and as you can see there's not a lot of room between the windshield and uh, where the dash piece mounts so they're gonna have to be pretty short and probably more elongated on that side I won't have a problem but I think the idea is gonna be to make them symmetrical this side and that side so we don't have two different looking pods so basically we're going to try and work around the constraints of this side all right this might be the crudest drawn circle you've ever seen that inside diameter looks really neat that's uh three and a quarter because that was actually made using one of these glasses from inside turns out that was exactly three and a quarter but i didn't have anything around in the garage that was four and a half so I kind of just offset it the amount I needed and freehand it in the circle and since I'm freehanding it with the saber saw anyway because I don't have a circle jig for our router and I mean it's not like it really matters if it looks bad because it's gonna be covered in fiberglass so if anyone says that this circle sucks yeah I know but I'll fix it later just watch alright we got a little progress made if you can even call it that we tried making a couple rings out of MDF first and those just ended up falling apart and self-destructing because this distance was so small that they were just too flimsy and they couldn't hold up to it so we made these out of plywood. It's not going to make a difference, it's just you know stronger for our case. And as you can see these aren't, uh, these aren't very circular at all because we had to freehand them all because I don't have a circle jig for my router but it serves the same purpose. It'll Oh, hold the, the speakers kind of like that and then this is all the progress I, I got today but in a couple days I'll come back you can see the outline I traced here and I'll cut that out and that'll be the base for the speaker and it'll go something like that with a, a rod coming off the back to support the speaker from collapsing on itself backwards mm -hmm. and hopefully that will be somewhat of what the pod looks like and of course these plans are all subject to, to change because something will uh, most definitely go wrong with it. Mm -hmm. So that's all the progress I've got for today. I'll catch up with you guys later.